Okay, hello. We are back and alive uh, here with a little bit of Slay the Spire. And, you know, theoretically I've fixed my mask a bit, but it, you know, it likes to give me trouble. Anyway, so here we are. Going to be embarking on an ascension here with the Ironclad, and I'm fully expecting it to be a little bit brutal. Um, even though it's just Ascension 2, we've had some bad times, is all I'm saying. Okay, god, Niel's Lament is so rude. Um, okay, so let's see what our shop looks like. So, I mean, we could take the curse, right? Where's the, the shiny lights over here? So we could take this path with a couple question marks, right? Take an early shop, hit this elite. We got plenty of campfires as well, so if we get something like, you know... Oh, Clumsy's not bad at all. We are quite fortunate to have something like Clumsy on our side. Um, so that's that's not horrible. Um, yeah, I have to remember it's always easier to see out of if I look, if I'm like sitting back here. But that does require me to like sit straight up, which is of course quite difficult for me. Um, remembering your posture is just a difficult thing to do. So anyway, here we are. Ooh gross okay maybe i should have gone full aggro there but i would prefer to take as little damage as possible see now look at this i guess clumsy really did kind of mess us up huh okay so not enough for me to kill him huh i guess i'll mitigate some of the damage i mean it's just it's atrocious when you take so much damage on the very first combat but it's a, it's a good sign of, you know, what's to come. Or, you know, potentially. Oh, I'll take a shrug it off. Potentially. Oh, hell yeah. The perfect chance to accidentally thicken our deck. Okay, well, we'll take Berserk. Uh, I don't normally... I don't normally take Berserk. God, there's, there's no way. There's no way I'm taking Panic Button. Okay, but we got a Berserk out of it, which is pretty cool. So let's head up this way. Eh... Uh, Horrible draw. And we couldn't even get like a shrug it off. How offensive. Okay. So a 13 card deck and already it has no cohesion and nothing to recommend it. So we got that going for us, which is pretty sick. Um, I mean, I'm going to take the two damage this time, I guess. Maybe I shouldn't have. Hmm. Anyway. Hmm. Let's definitely take that. It gives us something interesting. Okay, 75. Wow. Alright, so we can start taking X cost cards, um, which I mean, Whirlwind is right there. <clears throat> we could. We could take this and then Whirlwind. And that kind of means we should be going for a strength build, so probably Carnage <clears throat> is not incredibly helpful at this time. Huh. Look, we have so many campfires. Let's just take the damage. You know, I think we're okay to, to not do this one. I'm just curious. Oh, that's that's really good. We might have to upgrade that one at the next combat, assuming, you know, nothing happens that's uh, too unexpected. Okay. All right. Well, here we go. I was I was a little concerned that it would be these guys, but. Okay, so, you know, immediately losing our Carnage kind of sucks. Hmm, maybe I shouldn't. Maybe I should play Carnage. But this is, this is, what, 28 damage to everybody? I'm gonna do it. Oh, yeah, yeah, and it's even more because of Chemical X. So, yeah, I think that was the right play, even though Carnage, you know. Okay, so we can easily kill one of them. And then, you know what, let's just block. So we don't take as much damage so that I can I can emotionally justify upgrading Berserk next time. Look at that. Mmm, that's beautiful. Okay. Pretty pleased with how that's going. Yeah, so increase by two. Oh god, self-forming clay is actually really good. I feel like we kind of have to take flex. You know, any kind of strength enabler at this point would be wild. I'm gonna upgrade our Berserk. Because this would really give us the potential to, like, I mean, that whirlwind situation, it could pop off. <sighs> I guess I'll take the boot. Uh, look, we got a campfire coming up. We got a campfire coming up? We got mango out of it? 
Oh. Oh. <laughs> anyway, we got a campfire coming up. Okay. So now hopefully we'll be able to fight this elite as well. So this is all 8 damage to all enemies 5 times, right? Which is 40, so that should be enough to kill everybody. Yeah, that's pretty good. I'm not, I'm not super interested in those. I'm kind of interested in a true grit. You know, I wouldn't mind making the deck thinner. Even though for somebody like me... So 8, it's 8 times 5, right? Which means 40. So that, that does kind of suck. I guess I'll do this. And then this would be three times. I think we have to. Yeah, okay, that worked out. I, I don't mind a ghostly armor. Let's go ahead. I mean, we just don't have much in the way of block. That's really the only issue there. So clearly Berserk is excellent. And clearly Carnage is not excellent. But it's okay. We'll do this and then we'll, you know, look for our X cost cards. Well, we didn't get it. But... We did get to make him vulnerable, which means we should draw it next turn. Yep, and we got a flex with it. So, I mean, 50 damage right here. No, more than 50. Yeah, enough to kill him, which is actually kind of mind-boggling. I think we should take a limit break. You know, upgrade a limit break as soon as we can. Hey, look, we could upgrade a limit break here. You know, upgrading limit break gives us the chance to make flex a more permanent situation. So, that's pretty sick. That's a real shame. I'd prefer to bash rather than Carnage here, but I don't want to lose Carnage. So we get what we get. This is Ethereal, right? So I have to play it. And then we'll just play these. I mean, we still haven't gotten Berserk, huh? Yeah, this, this would have been... Oh, I don't know about that. I don't know. You know what? Let's do this. See, this is much better, and there's no point in playing flex. There is a point in playing strike, though. Okay, so I mean, we take a lot of damage here, right? Um, which is okay. So maybe we do... Hmm. We make him vulnerable, and then we do like 40 damage, which would be a little extra from that. Okay, so splitting it with 36 each is really not bad. Uh, I feel okay about that. It's nice to have a flame barrier in our hand, that's for sure. And I'll just play the slimed. I mean, we're gonna we're gonna take a hit. But hopefully, yeah, see, look at that. I'm hoping for a better draw. Uh, I can't get it. They'll split, right, at 18? So this is fine. Kind of a waste of a rupture at that point. Okay, so Carnage is great. We can flex and carnage and then kill it i'll go ahead and use slimed instead because i don't think he's going to hit us enough to kill us no matter what we'll try this this should be enough yeah okay kind of a wild build going on oh okay i'm taking a second berserk i, I really i like birdcage i like birdcage a lot busted crown is pretty good you know, because it gives us the ability to do even more damage with our Whirlwind. But we don't see Whirlwind, you know, as much as I would like us to. I feel like Carnage is kind of less necessary than perhaps it, it once was, but, you know, we'll do this. 16 card deck, that's fairly thin. I mean, it depends who you're talking to, right? I know some people who are like, oh yeah, I have a 6 card deck, it's pretty thin. And so for those people, you know, like a 12 card deck is fairly thick, but those people are maniacs. I'm just, I'm just going to tell it to you like it is. Okay, so we can have one, two, three elites, no matter how we how we shuffle it. So maybe we go up this way, because I kind of want to hit a shop. We get this one. We get just, just a ton of question marks, like question mark freaking city in here. Which, of course, means that probably some of them will be combats. But I mean, what can you do? Okay, so something like, you know, a flex and a limit break is nice. And then we'll ghostly armor, and how I'll defend, too. At least we got two strength up, which means when we see Whirlwind, you know, we're going to be happy. Uh, I'm going to keep blocking. I'm waiting for Whirlwind, which I think we're, like, for sure going to draw next turn. Uh, it's a shame we didn't get Berserk, though. Because this means we can only do... Okay. Hmm. So this will be 10 damage. Yeah, 50. This is 50. Cool. Okay. Easy. We don't heal back to full. 
but I can live with what we've got. And I don't know. Shrug itself is not. What? War Cry, draw a card. Hmm. I guess I'll pass on it. Maybe I should have taken it. We might need some card draw to get through this, but. Okay. So I guess I'm just gonna skip my Whirlwind this time. I don't wanna take that kind of damage. But this is what? I mean, it's kind of dumb to skip it, right? Because this is 8 times 4, which is a lot more than Carnage. I guess I'll do this, though, and wait for it to come back around. Ah, it's nice when I know that I'm making misplays, you know? Okay, so we'll do this, and this, and I suppose there's no point in playing Limit Break, because we only have, you know, we didn't draw Flex, so... Okay, yeah, she's she's gonna complain, okay? She's gonna try to fill our deck up, but we we will stand strong, okay? We're not we're not gonna be intimidated by this kind of behavior. Hmm. I was like, why won't uh you know why why won't the uh vulnerable end? But it's cause she cast vulnerable as well, and so I was like, man, that's a Okay, not great. Man, I probably should have played that differently than I did. Um, okay, so this is this is the kind of thing I was looking for. Unfortunately, we are weakened for basically ever. So this is 9 times 7, which is enough to kill her. Whew, okay. So, I mean, it didn't go as well as perhaps we would have liked, but it could have gone much worse. I could take another flex. It seems like I'm really, really kind of reaching here, but I'll do it. Maybe we'll remove a card. Hmm... Turnip is good. You know, not being able to become frail is maybe something that will save our life. I'm very interested in removing a card. I I'm kind of interested in removing Carnage, but... I don't know. I guess I'll take out one defend. I mean, we're kind of low on blocks, in truth, but still... I'm sure we'll be fine. <laughs> That, that alone just, it seems like such famous last words, you know, I, I shouldn't, I shouldn't even speak. Um, okay, so, I'm interested in fire breathing, but we could have taken it last time and we didn't, so, we'll just take oddly smooth stone and get out of here. I mean, we have some ability to, oh, um, I'd rather get their reward, and we're pretty good against enemies, like, uh, groups of enemies. I mean, like, look at this. 12 damage, 5 times? I think it's enough to kill everybody. I mean, we're just done. It was a free heal. We're not taking a perfected strike. Dropkick is nice. I mean, I enjoy it. I think it's pretty fun. Okay, incense burner's insane. There's a 0% chance I'm skipping that one. Okay, so obviously we, we didn't get, like, exactly what we were hoping for originally. This isn't horrible. Maybe I'll take the colorless potion. Hmm... Okay. Yeah, I was worried about this. Okay. Well, that's alright, I guess. I mean, I kind of intentionally didn't play the attack potion for this sort of reason, but... Oh, we have self-forming clay, which is going to hook us up this turn. Okay, we're still vulnerable, which is really not super cool. We can kill this guy, though, which is super cool. We can defend... So obviously we can play our whole hand. I'm just curious. I probably shouldn't. You know, I think there's a good chance we're going to kill him anyway next turn, especially if we get Whirlwind. Which we probably won't. Yeah. Statistically, that doesn't seem super likely. Well, Limit Break is fun. I'll just try not to take any damage here, deal a little damage myself, and just keep it moving. Okay, we'll throw these flexes on. And I guess I could... That's interesting. It won't kill him. Okay. Well, I'll live with it. And we need to kill him this turn so we don't waste the incense burner. Okay, perfect. Easy. Too easy. That's what they always tell me. Sword Boomerang is, is good if we actually keep up like a strength build. Which, I mean... We're kind of... Kind of trying to do. I guess it will make some of the flex turns more valuable. We could heal here, and we, we maybe should heal here. It's just... But what if we upgraded Flex to make it more valuable? Now when we cast Limit Break, you know, we get way more value out of it, in theory. Okay, Intangible this turn, which is really actually, like, the best we could have hoped for. 
given that um, we drew no blocks of any kind. Oh man, I just it seems so bad to do something like this to myself, you know? I mean, he's already attacking for 18. I think we can put up with it. Yeah, we can. Okay, cool. Oh, and the boot kicked in. Oh, <laughs> puns. It worked, though. Okay, so we could deal 8 damage 6 times, right? Because he's not vulnerable or anything. We could make him vulnerable. But then it wouldn't, it wouldn't really be that much more, would it? I'm going to go ahead and try to block what we can. And then I'll throw this out here, too, because we can play it for free and still get a little bit of value. I mean, it's not like the flashiest, coolest turn we could have had, but... Oof. Man, when you play your whole hand and it kind of sucks... <laughs> At least we took no damage, though. Okay, I really need to finish this fight and stop having this fight go on. <laughs> that's, uh, that's my official prognosis for this one, because this is, this is killing us. I really should have slept. Okay. So we'll do this. Whew. Okay. Whew. I was, I was very concerned. All right. So we made it through. I'm going to resist the third flex. We don't have any exhaust, so. Ooh. Well, I'd take a strawberry. God, I actually, I love strawberries. Um, Okay. So unfortunately we can't take Whetstone and Lee's Waffle, which kind of sucks. Let's look at the attack cards that we have that are not upgraded. It's basically all of them, but none of them are super important. Pantograph is good. I'm going to take Lee's Waffle, so we won't have to bother with resting. And you know what? Like, why not remove a card? You know, I'm, I've, I, historically, I just, I craft decks so well. You know, why would I even bother uh, changing my strategy? Okay, I want to keep Carnage in, in this deck. Straight up, I want to keep Ghostly Armor in this deck, too. Not really what I was hoping to draw turn one, especially with us being intangible that first turn. And then and now look at this. Oh, it hurts. I'm not playing a three-cost Berserk. Maybe I would play a three-cost Berserk. <laughs> I mean, because we can't play Limit Break if we play either of the Flexes, which is, you know... A hit to the solar plexus. So I'll go ahead and I'll take this damage. Uh, it's a little more damage than I was fully expecting it to take. I'll be, I'll be honest with you in this particular instance. Uh, Sword Boomerang is okay here. Look, we're taking no damage this time. Listen, don't be tempted, okay? You can survive this fight without your second berserk. Okay, see, a free carnage, that's what I'm talking about. A free defend is not a, not a bad situation to find myself in either. Okay, a real shame we can get the job done there, since, you know. Hmm, huh. we'll just do this. I wanted to, like, you know, get fancy with it, but I think that it would be better if I, if I didn't. Oh, yeah, Limit Break just doubles your strength. Um, so nothing crazy. Hmm... I don't know. Maybe? I don't know. I guess what I would really like to see is like a flame barrier. I'm so tempted. And by I'm so tempted, I mean I'm so greedy. Let's just take this. I know, I know. We can't we can't handle regret, but just just hear me out, okay? I have nowhere that I'm going with that. Just hear me out. So I guess I'll play this. And I'll play a ghostly armor, because we're gonna take a lot of damage. And then we're gonna play that. And, okay, so they're all weakened because of Red Mask, which is really great, because I think that that enables us to survive. Uh, let's... Okay, so that's that's not great. But, listen, it's going to be fine, because we're going to play out our hand. This isn't horrible. So we took, like, what, one damage? That's nothing. We'll flex. I'll limit break. I'm, I can't play this Berserk. Okay, we killed one of them, so we take no damage. Hell yeah. I've kind of wasted, like, you know, the the um, HP reserves that we built up. I won't lie to you, that is, that is kind of what happened. But I'll make it all up to you somehow. So it's flex and limit break and shrug. I'm not playing that. Jesus. <laughs> it's quite, uh, quite insistent, huh? Let's just do this. 
I mean, it only took one part of the whirlwind. Oh, Vira is incredible. Double tap is, is good, I think. You know, even though we're sort of relying on this whirlwind situation. Okay, well, this is insane. You know, getting this and then limit break. Um, that's nuts. I mean, we just killed them. See, like, when, when the turn is, is good, it's very good. You know, I want to get rid of Carnage now. But we're going to have to get rid of Regret first. I'm tempted by Heavy Blade. But we have 18 cards. I'm going to skip it for now. I mean, 75 is more than enough. You know, it just it just is. I'm tempted to, like, upgrade a Flex. I'm tempted by Sword Boomerang. I'm really tempted by Double Tap, so that's what we're going to do. Um, I know we play Whirlwind. It won't, it won't matter. But we can, you know, potentially play other things besides Whirlwind. Yeah, like, for instance, right, we could play Double Tap, Sword Boomerang, get both of those out there, and then Whirlwind. So, you know, I mean, that's, like, like 90 damage turn one. It's not horrible. This is the regular Berserk, and I would really rather play a Berserk Plus if it's going to be that way. This is horrible. This isn't what I wanted to see at all. Fine. I'll play Berserk. You know, we take a little less damage and it gives me the excuse that I need to make decisions that are wildly bad. And, you know, that's what I need. I need the, the excuse to do that. Um, not that I won't do it on my own, but, you know. Okay, perfect. There's no reason to play that block. So we are vulnerable forever, which sucks, but I'm really pleased with his continued decision to um, remain a pacifist. I think that that, if he keeps that up, we're gonna, we're gonna be just fine. I mean, he's even vulnerable. I mean, that's from our bash, but still. Okay, so we get this going, right? We limit break. I don't know what the hell he's doing right now. Please don't give me something like Carnage. Okay, getting regret, not great. <laughs> but at least we were able to play our hand, so it's not really penalizing us too much. So he's hitting us for, for 27, which, um... If I tell you the truth, it's a lot. We'll do this. We'll get a little extra of that in. And then I think he won't attack this next turn, right? Because we got him down to half this time. Which, of course, of course, is the turn in which we're intangible. Um, deeply offended by that. Okay, so we can limit break here. There's no point in playing double tap because we drew no attacks. Really, truly incredible. It's neat to get this high up with strength and not, huh, and uh, not, okay, thank God, and not have anything like demon form. You know, normally when I see this, this kind of situation, it's because we've got demon form out there. I can't, I just can't, okay, I can't control myself as it is, and I always play these berserks. We gotta move on and not take a card from that. We're not playing Velvet Choker, that's nuts. Um. Hmm. So, we have this X cost card, which means that Snake of I would never really impact us there. Um, having Flex's cost and Berserk cost, I mean, these are mostly very cheap cards. Honestly, we have, what, two two cost cards and no three cost cards? No longer being able to smith sucks, but there's not that much that I really need to upgrade. I don't think I've ever taken Fusion Hammer of, like, my own volition, so this is new for me. <laughs> Let's see how it, uh, how it all turns out, huh? Okay. So we could take question marks, but I, I want to see elites. One... Okay, so the elite path is the one that veers left, and even that only has two. How disappointing. Okay. Well, let's go kind of this way up, and we'll kind of, we, it looks like, we'll juke them, is what I'm saying. You know, whoever's following us in the spire, okay, this is going to hurt. Uh, that's just, that's just what I do here, apparently. Okay, we got the boot helping us out. We got regret dragging us down. Perfect. I mean, I'm just pleased we've made it to the third floor on Ascension 2. We've had some, some difficulties. I won't lie to you about this. 
Okay, flex is good. 15 damage to all enemies. I'm going to double tap so we'll get an extra 2 out of it. Yeah, I'm not sure that was necessary, but I'm happy that it, you know, it happened. I'm, I'm not opposed to a pummel, but, you know, because, like, it exhausts, which is cool. I think we can take them. And I like rare relics, you know, like, runic calendar could come in handy or, I don't know, something else that's cool. I want to take this berserk. I really do. I know better, though. Hmm. We're at 14 damage to all enemies, huh? So maybe I do this? Okay, cool. So now we've almost healed the full. Captain's Wave is good. I don't mind a true grit. I, I don't mind it. You know, it gives us the chance to exhaust things we don't want. I mean, the exhausting at random is a problem for now. Oh, hell yeah. Now, upgrading all cards might be pretty cool, but I don't know what it would make us do at campfires. <laughs> Since we couldn't rest and we couldn't upgrade, it'd be kind of nuts. Okay. Well, we're going to Berserk. We're going to Ghostly Armor so we don't lose it. We'll double tap. And then I guess we'll Whirlwind. I should have bashed. I should have bashed in the Whirlwind. That's so, so dumb. I even thought about it, and I was like, oh, no, no, it's fine. Anyway, I think we'll still, you know, be okay. Oh, do we even tangible? We do. That's pretty sick. Uh, we don't even need True Grit, so I'm not going to use it. I mean, 8 is Shrink Up. I've had worse. Uh, this is only one Vulnerable, so it's just this turn. I know we're going to block enough. Thank you, Captain's Wheel. we got to get rid of that Regret. Also, somehow I have a 19 card deck, even though I was like, let's keep it thin, let's keep it thin. Now, in fairness, the let's keep it thin thing, I say that like every single game. So, you know... <laughs> Uh, oh, uh -huh, that's fun. We don't really exhaust cards very much. <sighs> I know what I said, okay? I know what I said. But here we are. There's me, not following what I say that we're going to do. Which sounds about right, you know? Nothing, nothing super unusual about that. You know, I have a reputation to maintain, is all I'm trying to say, you know? So... Uh, clearly, I have to continually make bad choices. Otherwise, how would you know it was me? Okay, so we'll throw these out here. Um, I don't think there would be any point in playing double tap. I think we would get the same value. It's not like we have, like, a strike plus here and then a strike or something, you know? Um, um, well, I mean, here's what we could do. We wouldn't have regret. I mean, I have a little bit of regret about taking that much damage, but you understand. So that second Berserk never got upgraded, huh? Which must have been the one that I used. A real shame. Okay, now if we're playing it this way, let's do this. I guess I could have played another Berserk. I mean, why not be vulnerable? Yes, yeah, see, this would have been a great time to be vulnerable. Ouch. Okay. Well, the cards we're going to play. Oh. Um, well, that's done. Hmm. We'll go ahead, skip those rewards. When they ask me, like, hey, why did everything go so badly for you? I want you to know that it has nothing to do with the fact that I continually skip rewards. Okay? I just want you to understand that. So I'm going to put this out here. We should be able to just kill this one, right? Yeah. Feels like kind of a waste, because I could basically strip that. But then we, we wouldn't have enough to play it, so sure. Let's do this, and then we'll just throw 17 damage on that guy. It's fine. Now, Whirlwind is really gonna... Yeah, Whirlwind's gonna hurt. And even if we do something like this, right? I mean, when we double tap, we're gonna, we're gonna take some damage, huh? Maybe I'll drink this. <sighs> okay. Okay. So we took a little bit of damage, but we're still in the 90s. I would, I would love a seeing red. Do we run out of energy that much, though? We don't really. Control yourself. Okay, I'll recall this key. I've got some, I've got some doubts, okay? What I'm saying is I desperately do not want to fight the heart. We play, we play a couple of powers. Hmm. We can get rid of regret, which is incredible. I talked about stone calendar. We don't have enough for both of them, though. 
So, if I have Mummified Hand, I think I only have two Powers cards though, right? And so we can only use them twice. Let's go ahead and do Stone Calendar. It's probably not going to, you know, turn the tides of battle too much. God, I wish we had Flex. Uh, double your block is nice, but we really rarely stack up any kind of good block. Karen's Ashes is very nice, but, I mean, we skipped Mummified Hand, and it's not really a Powers kind of deck, so. Uh, Shuriken is amazing. There's no guarantee we're going to hit another... I I'm okay with not fighting the heart. Okay, I'm not sure we're going to make it through the boss. I mean, you can kind of see. This one's a little touch and go. Which is strange, right? Because it's... It's kind of... I don't know. I'm, like, trying to preserve these cards. But, like, to what end, right? Maybe I should just double tap and then whirlwind. Which, I mean, gets us down 90 damage turn one. I think that's probably worth it. Even though we won't have Ghostly Armor or Carnage. It's not like our build relies on Carnage, you know? So we'll do this. We'll take... Oh, we'll take more than one damage now. Mm, okay. Hey, at least Regret is gone, you know? Okay. So we're already vulnerable. We'll be vulnerable next turn. Why do I have so much energy anyway? What? Oh, okay. I see. We just have one extra. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. All right, let's shrug, see if we get something good. That's going to be a no on the getting something good front. And, you know, I think we've gotten, like, all of our... Oh, we're intangible this turn. Hell yeah. Okay, that's, that's excellent. That's what I want to hear. So let's make him vulnerable first, and then let's just go for this. I mean, we take one damage, so what? We got self-forming clay, so, yeah. Even that has a benefit for us. I guess we'll limit break here. And then we'll play everything and then true grit. So we're taking a little damage. 8 times 3 is 24, right? Mm-hmm. Not amazing. Should have definitely upgraded first. I mean... Okay, so we double tap a strike. <laughs> Excellent. And then we'll want to... I don't know. I mean, it doesn't matter, you know, in what order really we do this. Because we're clearly just going to kill him. Huh. Who are we fighting? The Awakened One? Okay, so we only have two powers. So there's only, like, so many ways this could possibly go badly for us. Obviously gonna start off with a little Berserk. I wanna shrug to see what I can draw. See, that's, that is something that I would want. Not quite in the order, perhaps, that, you know, like, maybe I shouldn't be so obsessed with trying to keep Carnage. Did I seriously not Armaments first? I'm, I'm in Hell. I mean, yes, hell is like a thing in my own mind, it's, it's my own incompetence, but I don't think that that makes it any less of a valid sort of hell, you know? Okay, I'm gonna berserk, even though, you know, this is obviously only two. We can bash our double tap, and it would've been best to use it last, but, um, I stand by that, I guess? I mean, I'm not, I guess no one else is gonna stand by my horrible decisions, so, you know, I may as well. I'm not, I don't want to true grit until the end is the thing. I know that it obviously would be better. Oh, I probably should have played them in reverse order, like strike first, then carnage. But I mean, of course, I'm not going to use true grit uh, that early. Right, so play all your cards first, then this one, then this one. Okay, we take seven damage. We have self-forming clay, which I never quite... Whenever you lose HP, you gain three block next turn. Okay, so if it's like the birds or something and they hit you multiple times, then... Um, it can be worth something. Remember, don't bash until the end. Okay, again, we're still taking damage. I mean, he wonders why we're still here. I do too. I can't believe we made it to the third floor. Like, I know I keep saying that, but really, like, I'm, I'm, I am seriously impressed. This should kill him, right? Okay, hoo hoo hoo! Oh, no longer being able to become weakened is kind of insane. I'm not taking another, um, uh, carnage. I will, I will definitely take another Whirlwind, especially a Whirlwind Plus. I mean, hell yeah. Oh, he and I both have a, a similar thing going on. You know, we're uh, the nemesis of our whole village, and we both have uh, Intangible. So that's fun. I don't think the order should matter here. I mean, it would matter if I played Bash. 
which I guess I will do now. Maybe just so that I can feel the regret that uh, my character is long since left behind. You know, I, I put that demon back, uh, I put that demon down hours ago, but looks like you're still carrying him, you know what I mean? Um, okay. So let's keep this moving. I'm okay with taking one damage. I mean, obviously, I let it happen. Ooh, Captain's Wheel. Okay, yeah, that's fun. We'll do another Berserk. And we'll shrug. Maybe we'll get something good. Or maybe we won't at all, you know? Sure, he's not intangible this turn, but, you know, I mean, why why attack him then? You know, obviously, that that's bad for him. Okay, it's, it's like, deeply painful that we got a Whirlwind Plus that would probably almost certainly kill him. And this is, this is what we're doing. Oh, that's cool. The boot actually counters his intangible. I had no idea that it worked that way. That's really cool, actually. Am I a fool? Uh, maybe, maybe. I don't, don't answer that. Uh, okay. Let's sword boomerang him to death. Ooh, peace pipe in my hands? Oh, that's not good. <laughs> okay, cool. Okay, so remember, if they're mostly all attacking you this turn, don't do that. You know, I don't know why I'm, like, obsessed. Let's try this. Yeah, I thought it might kill him. Okay. <laughs> okay, that's nice about Rampage. And, like, I love the whole concept of searing blow with, um... I'm not taking another Berserk. For the love of God, I could have had four Berserks this game. And don't get me wrong, it's tempting, right? But it's also like a like a death sentence, you know? <laughs> okay, so we're allowed to play skills. He doesn't mind if we play skills. We'll do this. Fine, I'll take a little less damage. And we have 108, right? Theoretically, I should be more than good enough on this fight, but whatever. Um, you know what I wish... I wish that, see how, like, you know, the Awakened One is obviously, like, kind of sleepy. Like, he does these slow blinks. And we've all seen, like, birds, like, starting to fall asleep, right? You know, they kind of do those, those slow blinks. Anyway, what I'm trying to say is, right, if he's doing that, I wish that he would, like, you know, raise up, like, only, only be sitting on one leg. You know how birds, when they sleep, like, they only sit on one leg? Like, he should probably just, like, go ahead and, like, withdraw. I guess I'm, here's the tough part, right? So, I'm not an ornithologist, right? That's a, that's a bird person. Yeah, and, um, so what I don't know is, is that half, do birds sit on half of their limbs, right? Like, when they're sleeping, like, half of, half of their legs, I guess I should say. Or, conversely, do they, ooh, that's nice. Okay, we'll do this, and then I'll double tap this whirlwind. And then we can double tap this whirlwind as well, which was a lot of free, free stuff. Anyway, what I'm saying is, because it kind of makes a difference, right? If it's birds only stand on one leg while sleeping, we don't know because birds only have two legs. But if you take a look at, like, this bird, right? If it's half of all legs, like, because it rests upon its arms as well, perhaps it should, like, withdraw one arm and then, like, one leg be off the ground. Or, if it's just be on one leg, then I guess the bird is, like, face down, or is forced to become upright. I mean, either way, you know? Uh, so let's see. Probably I want to bash him first. This isn't gonna matter. If this isn't gonna matter, we should berserk. Yeah! Okay. So then that's, like, a complete, you know, like, waste for him, I should say, you know, on our vulnerable turn. So hell yeah. Okay. I don't love taking 41 damage to the face. I know that might surprise you. Given how I typically play, it seems like I enjoy taking, like, copious amounts of damage straight to the face. But, it's, uh, it's not true, actually. Okay, now here's something that sucks majorly that I kind of didn't plan for. You know, I was like, oh, I want the kunai, you know? Sorry, shuriken. And so we got, we got kunai. I, why, what the hell is wrong with me? We got shuriken, okay? I just made it clear that we got shuriken. Anyway, so we got shuriken. And this is, like, the one time where I'm like, oh, I kind of want to fight the heart. Like, I want to see how we would do. And now, we've made a victory. And don't even fight the heart on, like, the one time I'm like, ooh, maybe this build could do something, you know? Because we don't play that many cards, either. Okay. So, no more unlocks for the Ironclad. Okay, so Dead Branch wasn't available to us. Neither was Blue Candle or Singing Bowl. 
That's very good to know. Uh, I'm super hyped. Glad that that worked out. Uh, very, very fun. Alright, so now we're up to Ascension Level 3 with the Ironclad Hell Yeah. Ah, uh, finally, we are back to the Silent, which is super exciting for me. Because, uh, and I'm not silent about this. <laughs> today, today the puns. Um, but I love the Silent, the Silent's my favorite. I'm not going to tell you I'm good with the Silent. I'm going to tell you I love the Silent. I think Poison decks are just so, so fun. Shivs are fun. I like all the weird stuff with discard decks. Um, I often like doing this one. This is dangerous. We're going to do it. Oh, sweet baby Jesus. Um, okay, so we opened Pandora's box. At least we still have a Neutralize <laughs> and a Survivor. And Survivor can work with Tactician. Look, like I said, I love Poison. And we got two Burst cards and two Deadly Poison cards. So we can enable uh, that that thing I was I was looking for. So lucky us, right? Um, all right. Uh, let's proceed. So let's fight Elites. I mean, with a deck like this, why would we say no, you know? So we got three Elites on this left path. You know, it's good. It's a path without too many rests. It'll keep things exciting for us. Let's go. All right. Uh, huh. Well, we'll do this. I mean, I guess we'll play our whole hand, right? I mean, there's nothing else to do but play our whole hand. Take some damage right to the face. Not a lot of block cards, which is going to be hard for this character. <laughs> okay, nice. Uh, Bane goes well. But I really gotta start looking for block cards. Okay, so upgrading a card in your deck is nice, but I really, really like Warped Tongs. Like, I used to be like, oh, I like didn't even bother looking. Wouldn't even check. I'd be like, Warped Tongs, who cares, right? Uh, turns out Warped Tongs is amazing, and I'm a fool. So, that's what I learned. Oh, good. Good. I'm gonna play the cards anyway. I just wish I wasn't. Because it, it's kind of important that we really we really get out of these fights as quickly as possible. Oh, free Phantasmal Killer. Don't mind if I do. Okay, so this turn. Sure. Perfect. Excellent. We're doing... We're unstoppable. That's, that's the deal. I kind of like tools. You know? I think we should take it. Healing is not a bad idea. But let's get rid of pain. Oh, it's like RimWorld, installing a pain stopper. Um, let's keep moving. I shouldn't. Okay, that didn't take too long. If I were upgrading something. You know what, don't even, don't even tempt me, okay? Let's, let's heal. Because we're going into like an elite fight, and then potentially two more elite fights. I'm not sure how much resting we're actually going to do. This is the next two skills, but... We don't have any other skills. So I'll play the regular one, I guess. Um, so you can kind of imagine how this one's going to go for us. I mean, the lockable one's going to wake up. It has healing, but that kind of doesn't matter since we're rocking a really serious poison build. Having a neutralize is incredible. Having a crippling cloud is incredible. Jesus. Okay, because I mean, we just got to try to, like, get through these fights. We're basically playing the silent like she's the ironclad, which is, um... It's a really novel take, you know? <laughs> it's unique. I know I could be blocking, but I could also be getting through this fight quicker. And five damage is not horrible. Okay, I'm just doing this to like stack the poison just for fun. Okay, cool. A little overkill poison, don't mind if I do. We need to be hitting shops like, like nobody's business. Blade Dance is fun. Like, I like Blade Dance, but we don't have any, like, synergies with it now or anything, so I think we just skip. Hmm. Hmm. Well, let's start with this. This is, this is the worst. I wouldn't want that at all. And then we'll do this to kill one of them by the end of the turn. So that's cool. And then I guess, well, it doesn't matter, right? We don't have any, like, we don't have the Chemical X anymore, so farewell. Easy. Okay, be great to heal after each combat, you know what I mean? Oh, I wish there was a character that kind of, like, worked in, like, with the same kind of mechanic situation. 
So this sucks. I'd love to have us take two elites, even though they'll probably kill us, but I want to hit a shop because we can heal, and it's, it's like basically a better campfire, right? And we can buy some stuff. So I say, why not go for it? Oh. Huh. Okay. This is interesting. And then we'll be able to just kind of go nuts on the poison this turn. I was thinking maybe we would also be able... Yeah, okay, we can do this. We can Tactician, and then we can play another of these. We can also dodge and roll. I was hoping this would kill him, but I could have done the simple, easy addition to find out that that would not be the case. Anyway, whatever, we're here now. Let's do that. Cool. I probably shouldn't waste my time just doing that. I just want to, like, flex on him, you know? Sneaky Strike is not bad. You know, it's like a free 12 damage. We discard... The thing is, we have a lot of cards predicated on discarding you know what do it do it just do it okay because we just need to like actually play tools of the trade which i went out of my way to get so it would be awesome if i would actually use it okay let's dodge and roll first we'll throw this on this guy in the back and sure i guess i should not have weakened him i guess i should have hit that on the middle one it, realistically it doesn't matter at all okay so like now tools of the trade would have been great to have this turn because well obvious reasons we got a bunch of cards that are really reliant on discard and we didn't have tools and we didn't get survivors so welcome to hell uh, hmm well we're probably gonna play survivor first maybe we'll play bane let's just let's keep it simple okay so we'll burst okay that's fun yeah so if we want to kill this one though you know, we're looking at Bane or Deadly Poison. So we get Acrobatics. Um, I was hoping for not that one. I was hoping for the other one. This one will just die now before he attacks. So that's cool. That kind of frees us up. We could do this. Hmm. We could backflip and then hope for something better. And by something better, I meant um, Neutralize, I think. Which doesn't make any sense because we already played it. And I don't think I was, I was there with the cards. So... Anyway, we'll do this. Now we get a free 12 damage. And I mean, who can say no to some free 12 damage, huh? It's a real shame. And I should have popped the region potion earlier. I knew this was going to be a longer fight, so definitely should have done that. Uh, I mean, it's a real shame it didn't upgrade Tactician. Huh. I'm going to do this, even though it feels weird. Uh, hmm. I guess we'll just do this. Man, that's a that's a weird one. Yeah, we're gonna need that regen potion soon though. But we're gonna heal with the courier, you know. And that's that's nice. Uh, right. Of course, we can do this. We can acrobatics, but then we can't really play anything else. Cool. Well, anyway, that didn't really matter, but it didn't go badly, so uh, I can live with that. Sure. Okay, perfect. So we got meat on the bone. We're going to heal a little bit when we head into... Can we weaken them a lot? I don't feel like really we do. Okay, so we heal up. We're at 43, which is pretty great. Um, It kind of feels like we have to take a catalyst. I'd love to remove something, but I don't know what. So I'm not going to remove anything. That's uh, That's my plan. I'm not super impressed with the stuff that's here. Something that, like, discards, right? We could get another sneaky strike, which I'm not crazy about. We could get a Caltrops, which is... I, I like Caltrops. I don't know if I like it enough, you know? Okay, we had a question mark here before we hit anything else. Tripling the enemy's poison is pretty cool. Um, let's do that. That way we can consistently get a little bit of a benefit there. Ah, hello, Delamuka. Welcome. We're just doing a little early Slay the Spire stream. You know, nothing crazy. Um, and it's going to be fairly short. Uh, I've got some errands to run. But I thought, you know, I have a little bit of extra time. And I'm feeling some Slay the Spire. Plus, like, I don't like to do RimWorld when I don't have very much time. Because RimWorld just sucks you in. You know? So, which is, I mean, a testament to the game being good. But, 
It also means that if I want to like actually, you know, make it to the post office before it closes and things like that, then you are unfortunately forced to play it later. Okay, this sucks. <laughs> um, I guess I could like burst survivor. And then, of course, we'll just discard everything. But we won't take as much damage. Mm, we're probably going to have to rest, which I think sucks. Yes, all is well. I hope all is well with you as well. Oh, look at that. Our sneaky strike is going to be paying dividends here. And then I guess we'll have this one die at the end of the turn. And this is the only one with poison, so I'm not going to waste our catalyst on that. Cool. Maybe... It would be best if I... Hmm. I don't know. I don't really want to use Catalyst this time. So we'll work on trying to kill this guy. I can probably burst and apply this, and then that's good to go. And we'll throw this out here. Perfect. Awesome. Yeah, it's good to take as little damage as possible here. Oh. I wish it would stop tempting me. Like, putting me at like a, a questionable amount of health. Because I just feel like, you know, hmm, I like a backflip, but that's calculated gamble. We kind of need a little more discard. If this is such a questionable amount of health, you know, I'm like, oh, we could probably afford to upgrade, but I think we actually should just rest because there, we have such little ability to actually block anything. So we're going to have to have the health to tank the hits, I think. I'm interested in a regen potion, but I mean, if we can survive this without having to use a regen potion, then we're in a much better place. And I mean, we could have Phantasmal Killered, but, well, and of course this this would be the time, wouldn't it? Um, but I can't really, let's do this. Okay, interesting. I guess we could burst distraction, see what we get. Okay, well, maybe not the most productive turn that we've ever had, but eh, it could be worse, too. Okay, well, tools of the trade finally, better late than never, I suppose. He won't split, even if I add more, which is important, and then I'll calculate a gamble. Oh, God, that's so tempting. Um, hmm, so if he's at 22, he'll be down to 73 at the end of the turn. And if we tripled it, oh god, I guess, I guess I will, because that means he'll split into signs with just 30, which is really, you know, not horrible. Uh, let's get rid of this one, take a little more energy, nice. Do we really have no skills? Oh, we have Phantasmal Killer, I guess. I guess that counts. Uh, Bane is kind of wasted. Let this one, okay, cool. We'll play our hand, I suppose. Which does not mean, like, I don't know why, I, I spend the most time thinking about the turns that I'm going to have when, uh, like, if they're play your whole hand turns. I don't know what's up with that. Uh, this should be easy. Okay, and then I guess we'll just, there's no point in playing Survivor. We can just play nothing, I suppose. Get in the habit of saving up our energy in case we ever get ice cream. Cool, we can go to Reflex. Wow! These little guys are hitting for 12 a piece? Man, they're, uh, they're not messing around. Probably a little tired of being, um, you know, underestimated. So I guess we'll just finish the fight. And look, we still have that region potion, so that's exciting. Um, I feel like we have to take Corpse Explosion. We're kind of rocking a really- I'm not taking Velvet Choker, there's, there's no chance in hell. Um, hmm, Fusion Hammer's interesting because we have Warp Tongs. So we have something that kind of makes this tenable. Maybe we take a look at our costs. I mean, these are all low-cost cards, you know? It doesn't make any t sense to take Sneko. This is disgusting, and I really hate to skip. So I guess I'll take Fusion Hammer? But I don't know. You know, I might live to regret it. I mean, in fairness, I love to regret most of my Slay the Spire decisions. <laughs> it keeps me coming back, right? I mean, that's the secret, right, to these games. You know, if you know that you constantly make misplays, then you're going to constantly come back because, oh, we could get four elites. See, I'm like, right now, I'm describing to you a misplay. Uh, 
But if you keep making mistakes, right, <laughs> then you're like, oh, I gotta, I gotta come back and play, because, um, what if uh, I could fix my mistakes and do it better next time? Okay, so let's do that. And I guess we could, uh, it's awful. I guess all tools, because that kind of enables a lot of stuff. All we have to do is kill that one bird, and then the rest of them will die from a corpse explosion. So this, in theory, is not that hard to do. If I play this, we're going to have so much energy and really nothing to do with it. So we'll draw more cards. Oh, hell yeah, we got a sneaky strike out of it. So this is good. If we catalyst, I think that'll be all we actually need. And then, I don't know, just attack the other birds just out of, like, rage from what happened the last time we encountered the birds. That is indeed why I named the stream um, Beware the Birds. They just, they devastated us last time. I don't know, it's like one more deadly poison? Oh, we got two. Two and a catalyst. But you know what they say. The more the merrier? I think that works here. I'm just looking for a good a good one there. <laughs> well, I mean, I don't, I just, I feel like that has to be like the, the psychological explanation, right? Um, for like why you come back to these games. Because like I, I do it too, I come back to games that like I don't think I'm very good at. And in the case of some of them, like, you know, I play a lot of Apex Legends, and, like, I I definitely hate that game. <laughs> it's nothing but suffering. But it's gotta be that, like, you know, I feel like, oh, there's so much more to, like, to climb, you know? God, I really wish we could have gotten Calculated Gamble upgraded before we took Fusion Hammer, because I like that one. Okay, so we'll do this. Sure... Okay, Tools of the Trade is probably worth it to lose our Calculated Gamble just for the chance of having this one. And nothing to, uh, nothing really to use here, huh? I'll throw out Corpse Explosion. I don't really want it in comparison to some of the other things we could have. We'll go ahead and triple our poison. And then this way I shall die next turn inevitably, no matter what happens. Sure, you can go away. Oh, look, a little blade dance. She can die to shivs in a, in a, you know, a deck where uh, we're not using shivs at all. Excellent. That's the way to do it. Okay, we'll move on to here. Uh, this'll be interesting. I don't really want to waste the, the triple poison here. That just, it hurts. I mean, what's also going to hurt is taking this much damage. Oof. <laughs> this alone might be like, why we, why we die? <laughs> Okay, well, we can burst and then do this and apply a couple weak, you know, for future turns. Yeah, okay, so theoretically, oh, that's good. Theoretically, we could kill him this turn, right? We discarded this turn, we apply a little more poison. Oh, hell yeah, look at that, we survive. We live to see one more combat at least. I mean, look at that. Those kinds of guarantees in life, they're rare. Alright, so let's, uh, we don't really play three attacks in a single turn. I hate to take a, a Sapphire key, straight up, but, you know. Okay, so we can, oh, okay, so this is what we're gonna do. And then we're gonna burst Catalyst, and so that's 90 poison. So even though, yeah, we took 15 damage to the face, and yes, that hurt badly, you know. At least, it'll die to poison this turn. So that worked out okay. Alright, we're absolutely getting rid of that useless uh, flex potion in exchange for a fairy in a bottle. Hell yes. I mean, I'm gonna take a blur. It's just a, it's just a block. You know? Let's rest. Please. Please, let's rest. Okay. I mean, I think we're on the, the four elite path, which just, I don't know. I don't know what goes through my mind sometimes, you know? All right, I would love for that one to die, but for now, I guess I'll do this. 12 damage twice. I guess we'll kill this gremlin in the hopes that, you know, he'll summon another minion this turn. He won't, no, instead he'll just attack us. It's unpleasant, yeah. Okay, so we'll do this, because I'm not going to play a burst right now. Um, I mean a catalyst. I'm not sure why I said that, but you get it. Okay, so we took a little damage and win, don't we? Okay, we got tools. 
maybe it makes more sense to play dodge and roll first. You know, get, got that little extra boost there, but eh, 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 you know, eh. Okay. I, Phantasmal is just not that valuable is the thing. I mean, you hate to hear that, but so we'll apply that poison. We'll sneaky strike to kill it. I was hoping for, I was hoping to kill it this turn so that he would definitely summon again, but instead he's probably going to attack. No, he's going to summon. Yeah. Okay. Everything is going according to plan. I have no questions on that. Okay, so we'll get this going, and that one, and then maybe we will also go ahead and, I mean, we can dodge and roll. That gives us more value than survivor will at this point. Not too bad. Okay, definitely get tactician out of here. Okay, and then, well, I like a bouncing flask, but be reasonable. A bouncing flask probably doesn't really like me here. Okay, now now maybe it does, because then we can bane this one if, if all goes well. So, 14. Yeah, we can kill it. And then tripling the enemy's poison here. Oh, we're done, man. We're, like, all good. Okay. Cool. Oh, gremlin horn? Hell yeah. And it makes perfect sense to get a gremlin horn out of a fight like this, you know? Um, okay. You know, let me check on this. One second. Cool. Alright, awesome. And now... Ah, uh, see, like, I think we just, we have to take a blur. And when something is, like, pre-upgraded for us like that, I mean, we gotta take it, man. Okay, Omomori is fun. I mean, not that we've really encountered a lot of curses, but I'm the sort of person who, uh, tends to take a lot of curse opportunities. So, you know, I'm pleased. Okay, we'll neutralize this one. I like a sneaky strike, but what I also really like is preserving my health. So let's do that instead. All right. And then I will need to perhaps, perhaps a corpse explosion here would be nice. And then this won't be enough, right? Oh, it will be enough. Well, this fight's over. Excellent. Um, hmm. And Venom is so good and fun, but we almost never really attack. I mean, if we look at our, our types, we have four attacks in a deck of 21 cards. I mean, that's nothing. I guess I'll just leave it. I mean, I'm, I'm more or less happy with the makeup of the deck. Okay, gambling chip is insane. I think that there's a, like, 0% chance I don't take that. Huh. The thing is, I don't plan on taking, like, a lot more cards. But frozen egg is really good. What do we have that exhausts? Do we have anything that exhausts? We have calculated gamble. And that's all. So taking... This seems, this seems excessive. Okay, I'll take a whetstone. We don't have very many attacks, so, like, hell yeah on that one. Uh, it's, it's absolutely damning that after buying three separate relics, they finally give us ice cream, and it's not even that expensive, man. Like, what, what a horrible luck. But I mean, it's thanks to the courier, right? So I shouldn't complain. Um, hmm. Okay, so we're gonna corpse explosion, and we'll corpse explosion this guy. I mean, we just, we gotta do it. And then, oh, we have pin nib now. That's very exciting. It probably shouldn't be new to me, given that it's like several relics back. So we got it sometime before the Gremlin Horn fight, you know, the fight we just had with the Elite. Uh, exciting, weird, strange. Yeah, we'll do this. Excellent. Okay, I mean, we could be taking more damage than we are. We need to do seven damage to that guy in the middle there. Um, well, the next two skills are played twice. Okay, dang it, that's not how I hoped that would go. We'll kill him here. We'll calculate a gamble. That's that's the worst. That's the worst possible order that could have happened in as well. Ah, uh, God. <laughs> okay, well, that's, that's perfect. We'll triple his poison, too. Just to add, you know, a little salt to the poison wound. I mean, having two of the eggs is great. It means we can actually, like, feasibly accept new cards into our deck. All right, let's see how they, let's see how they mess us up this turn, huh? Uh, this is a just a regular burst, huh? Because I was going to burst. Oh my god. But we, we have to corpse explosion. Is the thing. So I'm going to corpse explosion this one. 
And then we could burst blur, which I think actually we should do because they're each going to hit us for what, five next turn? So if they're all going to hit us for five, okay, six, whatever. The point is, you know, six times three, that's 18, right? So it was probably worth it. We got to dispose of something. Obviously, it should be the card that benefits from being disposed of. Yes. Look at me. I'm using my brain right now. I cannot guarantee you how long that, you know, this will, this will remain in effect, but it's working for now. And then this fight should be over. Yeah. <laughs> Took no damage that fight. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. I'll take a backflip. I just don't feel confident in the amount of blocks that we have as, as things currently stand. Um, let's... Jeez, I don't know. 12 damage twice is enough to wipe out one of these little gremlins. Let's get rid of this. So, I want to burst blur, I guess. I know it's, it's boring. But then we could glass knife this gremlin, which is already, you know... Uh, the angriest of gremlins and you know, I just I don't need that kind of negative energy in my life You know what I mean? We don't need angry gremlins here We can have them go and cool their heels a bit and perhaps their heads as well so We could throw a corpse explosion on but that's only gonna do like 13 damage, which just doesn't really seem worth it. Does it? Uh, if I'm if I'm pretty sure I'm gonna well, how am I gonna kill him like what use a catalyst? I guess we're gonna wind up calculated gambling anyway, aren't we? Hmm, no, no, no. Let's do this. Then we can burst and blur. We can corpse explosion this little guy. And that way we get rid of them. And, you know, we get some kind of benefit there. Briefly. But however brief, you know, I'm willing to take it. Uh, hmm. We can draw more cards with backflip, so I'm going to just give us more energy instead. A free phantasmal is pretty sick. I use this to kill this one. Uh, I can't say no to a distraction. <laughs> That's probably truer than I'd like it to be. Okay, we'll backflip, see what we draw. Oh, another blur. That's kind of fun. We can dodge and roll too. I mean, obviously we're, we're out here playing our whole hand, so... Oh god, oh god, damn it! Well, this always happens to me. I mean, at least it's not unceasing top. You should see... The way unceasing top goes badly for me. Uh, we still have, we still have more blur, right? So we burst. What if, hmm, hmm. What if we kissed under the missile toaster, you know? All right, so well, that's okay. It'd be cool if we could blur again, which somehow miraculously is like actually going to happen. Uh, 32 damage feels crazy. We'll do this. That also feels crazy. I mean, maybe I shouldn't be wasting my time just attacking these gremlins with it. But I'm just so, like, emotionally crippled by <laughs> how much damage we've taken. That, like, I can't. I can't let it go, you know? I'm like, let's just, let's play it safe, okay? Let's just play it safe. Um, all right. So I'm just gonna, like I said, you know, I'm making fun of it, but I feel like I'm not backing down from that course of action, okay? Um, hmm, we got a pin nib? And it just seems so dumb to pin nib on a neutralize, so I'm gonna say no. We're gonna back off. Okay. Obviously, we'll tactician. 64 damage on the sneaky strike. I feel like I don't even understand, like, what's happening anymore. Like, how is it doing so Oh, it's Pin Nib plus Phantasmal Killer. I was like, what in the hell is going on? I mean, let's just end the fight. This way we can spare the little tiny gremlins. They're so cute. And in Downfall, you even get, you know, the Downfall mod. You can get to play as them, which is pretty cute, very fun, etc. Big fan of that. You know, it's crazy because we're playing, like, the Silent. And you know what we didn't get? Oh, God. We should heal the full. We should. We should heal the full. Okay, we, we're going to have plenty of opportunities. If we're doing so good on the third floor that we're like, oh, we can take the heart. We will crush it beneath our tiny little silent foot. That's a silent foot, right? No, I think it's just wood on the ground. Anyway, like, assuming we will crush them under our boot heel, then, you know, we can, we can rest and take it then. But otherwise, you know, whatever. Uh... Okay. Well, that's fun. We'll get the energy back, right? We should definitely neutralize. I mean, we're playing our whole hand again. And there's me acting like, you know, oh, I should be really thoughtful. I look like the thinker sculpture. You know, I'm like, 
hmm, in what order should I play these cards? And then times when it's like super critical that I really think long and hard about what I play, I'm like, eh, you know, we'll figure it out. How bad could it be? I don't want to use a catalyst yet. I just don't. <laughs> We're gonna lose this one, okay. Well, okay, I mean in this case though, oh, we can't play them both though. Hmm, I I'm a horrible fool. I should have not gotten rid of last night since I would have played that then. All right, well, you know, that's how it goes, I think. Let's, let's just not. Okay. You know, sometimes the only way to win is not to engage. <laughs> and maybe, maybe this is just one of those times. Okay, so if we can play three, I guess I'll play this one and this one and this one. Because, I mean, yeah, we need to stack up the poison, but... Mm, 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 mm. Okay. What will I get rid of? Wait, when did our neutralize get upgraded? It must be from uh, Warp Tongs, huh? Cool. Very nice. Well, we'll play this, and we got two Burst Pluses, which, what a... So we could play Burst Plus, and then we would, we would actually double up on our Burst Pluses, right? <laughs> uh, did we, like, not draw any attacks that turn? Statistically, that's, that's very likely. Um, because we have so few attacks in this deck, so Phantasmal Killer's, you know, not great. But hey, you know, you can't blame me for that. I got Pandora's box. You can blame me for picking Pandora's box, but you can't blame me for, you know, <laughs> what happened afterwards. We'll get rid of this. I have a little more energy to play. To play around with. I know we could Catalyst, but I'm worried that it, like, won't do enough damage before he, like, does the reset thing. <sighs> Fine. So, it'll do a bunch of damage this turn, and then he'll, he'll get rid of the poison this next turn, right? And I think it clears it before it hits. So I think applying more poison is useless right now. It's what I think, but I might be wrong. Either way, it's not like I really have any other choice in terms of like what I can play. Okay, no, it does hit him. Okay, whew, well, probably should have played that marginally differently, but mm. Okay, let's draw those cards, see what we get. Definitely let's hit him with a sneaky strike. And then we can't actually kill him here, huh? But we can get a little more energy. Oh good, a pin nib on a turn we can't use. But we'll have pin nib and um the other thing next turn. And he's not gonna kill us with this hit, so I mean we'll live to see next turn. Uh we apparently will not live to actually like see an attack on this turn. <laughs> let's see if we can get one now. Yeah, that's fun. Okay, cool. Well, better than expected. Oh god, Storm of Steel is so tempting, right? But, like, we don't need that garbage. <laughs> we don't even need Venom. I mean, I'll take it, because it's upgraded. And also, I love it, and I just kind of am looking for an excuse. <laughs> but hey. Uh, Astrolabe, after getting Pandora's box, is just kind of, like, asking for weird trouble. We can't survive with Runic Dome. That will just straight up kill us. We'll take a Sozu. I'm happy with our potion lineup. These are basically all like, oh god, we've gotten ourselves in a horrible mess of trouble. Maybe this can save us. All three of these potions like fit into that neatly into that category. Neatly into that box, if you will, the Pandora's box. I also really like the artwork for Pandora's box. Like, that's not at all how I've ever imagined it. Um, this probably like speaks, like you could probably do some kind of like psychological assessment on people based on what they expect Pandora's box to look like, you know? But I feel like, for me, okay, so we're going to take this path because it's got three elites and we like to suffer here. Um, but, you know, like, I'm always going to imagine Pandora's box like a cardboard box, <laughs> you know? I've never really thought that it would be, like, very ornate, which, of course, like, if you're thinking classical Greek, um, you know, a lot of their stuff is, like, kind of, kind of fancy, right? But for some reason, like, my brain is like, no. No, Pandora's box is boring as hell. It's like a moving box. She just, maybe I imagine that like Pandora is like me. And so in my mind, I'm like, oh, this chick has never unpacked, you know? And so like, maybe it was just an accident, you know? She's like, oh God, where did I put my needle felting supplies? And she opens the box and she's like, oh, damn it. That's the box where I was keeping all of the ills of human society. Whoops. You know, if I had a nickel for every time I did that, um, I would I would have the same amount of money as I do today. <laughs> anyway, you know, unfortunately, my life does not have... 
it's not as full of like mystery and excitement as Pandora's life. So what I'm trying to say is I'm jealous. Uh, let's go ahead and throw some more poison on. That was just one burst, right? So if we throw another one, I'm just trying so hard to kill this one. And I think actually we're gonna get the job done, which should kill all of them yet. Yeah. Oh, life link, more like death link. That one doesn't, doesn't really work. <laughs> I'm sorry, I tried. It's been kind of a pun filled stream. So uh, I understand if, if you need to leave for your own mental health. Like this, this seems fair and reasonable to me. Okay, we'll get this going. Oh, hell yeah. Um, I definitely want to corpse explosion. It's great to get a tactician out here, but useless. Yes, I meant to burst and then and then play that one, but I didn't. So you're welcome for like just nonstop misplays. That's what maybe I should like, maybe that's just what I should change all of the, the titles of my streams to, you know? Like it would save me like some mental effort, right? I wouldn't have to think like, oh, is this like an interesting title? No, I could just straight up be like, oh yeah, <laughs> watch me make mistakes. Okay, cool. Um, they're, they're really tempting me. Actually, I'm going to take it because we're not actually going to take any damage from that. This calculated gamble is not upgraded. Why is it that we have frozen egg and molten egg, but we could not get a toxic egg? I mean, like, that's, that's, that's painful right there. I don't really want to choke. Uh, <laughs> you know, look, I play enough Apex, you know? I, I choke plenty there. Uh, we can't really remove this, huh? But, you know, let's, oh, sweet Jesus, we got Omamori. That's really excellent. I'm quite pleased about that. All right, let's hit the shop, see what we can do. Oh, we heal to full. We get Twisted Funnel. No way. Okay, so Twisted Funnel is worth it, just straight up. I have, I have no regrets. I'm pretty interested in a footwork. We don't play enough blocks, but getting like an increase of three to the few blocks that we do play is incredible. So, of course, is a leg sweep. Do I have... No, I have no curses, right? Because we have a memory. Sure. Fill up the de No way. A second? Didn't, didn't I just buy this? Look, I swear I just bought it. There's footwork here, right? Yeah, okay, we did just buy footwork. So we could buy another footwork, or I could buy leg sweep, which is actually smarter. Leg sweep makes more sense. We have very few block cards. What's the point in upping your decks if you can't play your decks, okay? Let's do it. Let's get more gold. Um, because I don't think there's another shop on our path, but we do have some question marks, and also, you know, we can rest and, um, and have a nice little heart fight. So, you know, we can spend the money at that, uh, that shop just before the heart. I do really enjoy that he says, how did I get here? Ha ha. Like, <laughs> that's excellent, man. Absolutely backwards way of playing that. You're welcome. Um, hmm, let's just dodge and roll. Nine block next turn is, like, kind of mind-bogglingly good. I mean, you know, like, for dodge and roll, which is normally just four. And kind of disappointing. Okay. Yeah, I mean, we can stack some poison on him, but, eh, eh, hmm. And that, it doesn't really matter. We shouldn't really waste our time trying to hit him this turn either. That's nice. It's like, we shouldn't really waste our time this turn doing anything. Cool. Uh, I guess I could throw, like, this at least stacks poison, right? It's not going to do any damage this turn, but better to stack poison than do nothing. I don't like the cards in our hand. What's well, calculated gamble? Huh, I think I like these even less. Since, you know, we're going to be getting a uh, Phantasmal Killer on his intangible turn. Hardly uh, exciting, but... Okay, finally, we got that out there. And we can sneaky strike him for one. But we're actually not taking very much damage. So I feel pretty good about that. Oh, I'm going to take this instead. I know that means we'll have a burn in the hand. But a burn in the hand is worth two in the bush. You know, that's what they say. Um, So we can weaken him at least. We got a pin nib going on and I don't want it. <laughs> uh, if only we had a burst, you know. Hmm. I'll go ahead and throw these out here. Because he has intangible next turn, no real point in using Phantasmal Killer then. Okay, we'll throw this out. Yeah, a burst blur is great so that we never run into the situation that we just had a minute ago where um, we had good stuff going on, but then nothing really happened with it. Okay, I feel better about him having uh, 75 poison on him. I mean, that seems like we have better chances of survival then. Throw this out here. 
I guess we can like what Bane and Glass knife him. Uh, next turn, no, next turn he still won't die. Uh, but if we can hit him nine times, which we absolutely for sure cannot do, <laughs> but if we could, imagine what a world we'd live in. I'll just throw this out here. I don't know, keep him weaker, longer. Yeah, he'll die next turn. 80 poison up against 7 HP. I mean, we're smooth sailing now. So, no worries there. Uh, yeah, let's, let's draw cards. Because we don't really... But you know what, it doesn't matter. I don't know why I do this stuff. You know, just to like get myself in bad habits for if I ever get ice cream. Okay, Mummified Hand is nice. Of course, having Mummified Hand makes me wish that I had taken, um... Sure. Look, we'll take the ruby key. Okay, maybe maybe we'll fight the heart. Maybe we'll we'll choke and we'll die really soon, like at this very next elite. But you know, those opportunities they present Toxic Egg! Toxic Egg! Egg! Yes! Okay. Great news. Now we have this suite of eggs. A full egg carton. Apparently in the Slay the Spire world, egg cartons contain three eggs. No big deal. Pretty exciting. Uh what would I replace? I mean I don't have to replace anything. But I don't really need an Invenom, so let's try for something better. We got something better, actually. Uh, wow, that's still not going to kill it, huh? <laughs> Painful. Alright, so we'll pop this out here, and then we'll get this one dead. But obviously, you know, it'll attack for 25 next turn, which hurts like hell. And then, you know, look, we get extra energy from Gremlin Horn, but do we get to see it? Hell no, we don't. What a disappointment. Uh, we don't have footwork yet, huh? So I'm gonna get rid of that. Phantasmal Killer is free, so there's like a zero reason not to play that. Maybe I shouldn't do that if I'm planning on killing him. I mean, I'm planning on killing him. I'm not sure it's actually... We got there, too. This is so dumb. I should have done like sweep on the other enemy. And then look, we're gonna get footwork. And wait, footwork will actually stay in our hand, though. Okay, never mind. Sorry about the complaining. Uh, updates. You know, maybe it all turned out okay. Uh, we can Survivor and Tactician, so just like a free little Survivor there. Hmm, I don't want to waste 24 twice on this guy. You know, that, like, it just, it sucks. Let's try Backflip, maybe? I mean, I guess I can feel marginally better about it if we do this, so it damages her a bit. And that's true, we, we got this out of it, too. So we have Blur going on. She's probably not going to hit us like crazy next turn, I would guess. I'm just going to do this and see what we get. Okay, we got Adrenaline. I just want a footwork. I really do. Um, I was hoping for something that would give us, you know, energy. But this is acceptable too, I suppose. You can't win them all. Alright. Uh, we'll get rid of this. And then Sneaky Strike will work. Huh. I mean, we can basically glass knife it to death. Okay, so this one's done. I definitely should have bursted first. That was so, so ridiculous. Um, but, whatever. Okay. I mean, I'd like to work on killing her, but of course I don't want this one to stick around. So, same situation as before. Same, same, but different. That's what they tell me. Bane wouldn't actually affect him, but I guess we can do this, and then we get our sneaky strike. Maybe we acrobatics and we get some good poison out here. Or, like, maybe we don't, you know? Now, I want another blur. Why can't I burst blur? What's wrong with my brain that it's just utterly forbidden? We do not burst blur anymore. I was doing it earlier in this run, and now I'm just like, hell no. We don't, we don't mess with that. See, now I'm looking, I'm like, hey, I got a blur. But there's no burst. So it doesn't really matter. Okay. Sure. Now I have plenty saved up. Maybe we can just focus on killing her instead of, you know, anything else here. So we got a burst. Remember, we have burst. We don't have blur, so it doesn't really matter, I guess. <laughs> but, okay, well, we could do this and hope for something better. Oh god, we're playing them both. Well, that's a waste of my burst. And there go my plans. But hey, look, we can burst blur. Isn't that nice? Okay, cool. <laughs> And we got more energy and nothing to use it on. But at least the burst is going to, you know, maintain for one more turn. And then we're going to reflex, maybe get something a little better. Yeah, or not. I mean, that's cool too. Let's acrobatics. Get rid of this. Okay, we can sneaky strike. 
Uh, sure, Phantasmal is free. There's, a, you know, no reason at all not to play it. Uh, maybe. Hmm. I could Catalyst and almost kill her. Let's do this. Sure. Uh, we'll leg sweep this little guy. Okay, 105 and two turns of blur. 105 block, I should say. Don't mistake that for, like, us putting out tons of damage. That's not, we're not in that kind of business. Okay. Cool. It's neat how her little, her, how her little ghost uh, disappears. Okay, that's painful that Sozu is preventing us from getting a second fairy in a bottle. I won't lie to you, that hurts me emotionally. Um, I don't, well, if we're going to hit a campfire before it, I don't know if we can handle these, these next two combats before the campfire, but I'm going to have us try. So we'll see what we can do. Corpse Explosion is incredible. We'll hit this one with it. Okay, we'll neutralize this bad boy, and then we get a good chance of killing him next turn, which of course would just end the fight, kill all of them next turn. So that would be pretty sick. Uh, nice. <laughs> cool. Well, maybe we do this. Man, don't, don't do this to me. Okay, a calculated gamble. That's, that's an interesting look. How about instead we just kill this one though? I think that that maybe is smarter. And then that should just end the fight. So we should be able to get to a rest. Oh, no liquid memories for us, huh? I mean, I like an escape plan, but I don't feel like we need it, so. Oh, maybe we do. I don't know. Uh, we'll replace this. I don't, I don't need two bursts here when we have a burst plus. So we'll burst blur. And then let's just work on this one. You know, because I know that that obviously didn't do anything for us. But it's completely stripped the little, what, what is he called? Spheric Guardian. You know, the orb. So this way the orb doesn't have any um, artifact on him, is what I'm trying to say. Look, if you give me a minute, I'll get there eventually. Real shame we couldn't discard that. Did I discard something else instead? Am I a fool? That's probably what happened. Maybe I just play Tools of the Trade this turn. I'm going to give myself this out. Okay, that's really nice. I guess I'll play this. Okay, Calculated Gamble, this is probably a good justification for it. Tactician is just going to give us more... Oh, that sucks. I don't really need more energy. I need more cards. I probably should kill these Repulsors. Normally, I really go hard on them, but uh, for some reason, I decided to just completely screw up the order of everything. And uh, I don't know, it seemed like a good idea at the time. So we'll throw this on. It's got enough poison to kill it, so it doesn't matter what we do here. I mean, unless these were, like, you know, the thorny boys or whatever, then it would matter. But that wasn't them. We already have two bursts, right? But neither of them are burst pluses. But we already get too many bursts, right? We have one backflip plus. I guess I'll take another. I mean, I guess. So we'll rest here, which is great. Man, I wish we had, like, a, like a shovel or something, or peace pipe even. Hmm. We don't have any skills, right? Oh, I can replace as many as I want. Okay, well, let's do that. Hmm. <laughs> it feels like the same kind of thing just happened, which is weird. Okay, so we'll apply this. So we get a little poison out there. A phantasmal for next time, and then we'll bane. With our pen nib, I guess I probably should have glass knife with our pen nib. That would have made perhaps marginally more sense. Okay, so this is not an upgraded. Calculated gamble. Disappointing. Um, sure, let's just throw this out here. Well, I want a Tools of the Trade, like, real bad. And, look, free Poison Day? Even better than free Cabbage Day. Alright, uh, I don't really need... Well, an Envenom will make something free. It would, yeah, but... I'm not gonna play Catalyst this turn. I just, I know it. So let's do this. We'll do this. We'll leg sweep. We got a free and venom. We got a free backflip. We got a blur going on and some more poison. You know, stack up some poison here and then eventually. Eventually. Um, I'd like more cards. So let's do this one. Um, okay. So. We could calculate a gamble. I don't feel like we need to, but we could. Well, I mean, I say that, but let's just do it. Because I'm looking for, like, you know, a blur. Yeah, like that. 
or like, I don't know, just something more exciting. See, I knew I should have done that. But okay, look, so now we got three stacks of blur, which is really good. I still don't want a catalyst. I know what you're thinking, but I just don't want to. I mean, it's just, it's not, it's not the way. Okay, um, let me see. Well, we're not going to play Corpse Explosion. I mean, Corpse Explosion sucks here. And then let's play basically everything else we're going to play. This will be free, and we have to play it now. And we can do this. I mean, this Phantasmal Killer plus his slow is, is helping us out quite a bit. We really need to stack up a bit more poison. But, see, there's our Catalyst. Oh, we can Burst Catalyst, though, which is going to be sick as hell. We're going to do that, and then that should get us there. And indeed, it did. Okay, perfect. 343 poison. It's enough to get the job. Sneko skull! Woohoo! I mean, sure, we don't, like, need it, need it, but still, it's it's fun. I like it. We're not finding the Awakened one, are we? No. Then I'm taking Caltrops. I mean, because we got Mummified Hand, we got a nice synergy going on with that. I don't I don't see any reason not to, um, not to go for it. And we got Corpse Explosion. So we get Corpse Explosion out here, and we only have to focus on killing one of them. Which, you know... I feel like it should go without saying. That's pretty good. So we're going to go ahead and get a little bit. Oh, this kind of sucks for Bane. But anyway, getting some blur out here so we can start building up our blog. You know, churning something out here. Okay, we'll go ahead and do this. We'll do this. Ah, uh, man, that hurts. Okay, so we got that going on. And then we'll sneaky strike here. Come on, show me my corpse explosion. I understand that when I'm looking at a 27 card deck, this is all my fault when I don't see the cards I want. But hey, there it is. Oh, and it's free. That's nice. So we'll put this on the Donu. And then we just, we go freaking hard on the Donu. Maybe I get a burst. Maybe I get a burst. I don't get a burst. That's fine. Who needs it? Maybe I get a burst now when I can't use it. Uh, this will actually not really help us. And it's too weak, so this will apply for next turn, so we'll do that. And then we'll do this, and okay. You know, I can live with what we got going on. Yeah, we're at the beginning of the fight still, but, I mean, we got 33 block. We haven't taken any damage yet, which is kind of a hell yes situation, if you ask me. Hmm, I guess we'll do this. And then I want to see something, like, let's do an Invenom. So this is free. I'd like to see this. Awesome. Okay. I love how I'm over here still, you know, like, how should I play it? Like, play your hand. Play your hand. I mean, like, the order can matter. But it just, I feel like it often doesn't in the times when I, I you know, spend the, the time to figure it out. Okay, and then... Ugh. Man, look at this. Five energy, and we got, we got no cards. Man, we need on Zizing top, clearly. Tripling the enemy's poison here isn't incredible, but it does mean that he'll die, not this turn, but next turn, so... I suppose in a way that is, like, I'm not sure what my definition of incredible would be if that doesn't count. You know what, get rid of the dazed. I'm just, I'm just doing this. Sure. We can neutralize you too. Excellent work, alright. Oh, with Venom and Sneko Skull? That's a sick combo. Alright, you ready? Let's, uh, let's try the heart. Wow, 981 damage is actually, like, much better than we've historically done. Woohoo! Let's do this! Okay, here we go. I'm doing kind of a drum roll situation on my desk. I don't know, you know, if that makes any sense. But anyway, cool. We'll just uselessly rest here. But always better to be, you know, well-rested before you fight some kind of, you know, ancient evil, I would imagine. Although I'm really unclear that the heart is actually any kind of ancient evil. I feel like it's more likely that, you know, Nyao is. I mean, like, we see actual evidence of Meow doing, like, horrifying stuff. Like, you know, repeatedly bringing people back in what can only really be described as hell. Um, okay, we'll, we'll take, we'll take an extra poison. I mean, it's upgraded. Uh, sadistic nature is insane. And then maybe, like, letter opener? Ugh, blood vial's not that good. But I'll take it. Two extra healing as we go into the heart fight after these little guys. Yeah, right? I mean, who doesn't want to nap before you battle Cthulhu? Or, I mean, at least banish him, right? But theoretically, we're supposed to be, like, straight up killing the heart, which is, like, nuts. Okay, well, gambling chip our gambling chip. I see nothing weird about that. I mean, gambling chip our calculated gamble. But still, I mean, it's essentially the same thing. Okay, so we'll do this. Okay, we got a free glass knife. We can burst our distractions, which is 
pretty sick. Well, probably a little bit of this, and this, and this, and I think next turn he hits us like a truck. Um, which is a shame, because we only have one weakness applied there. Yeah. Oh no, it's not this turn. Hmm. That's, uh, unsettling. Means it's a, a turn soon, huh? <laughs> okay, so we'll do this. Oh, uh, this will make something free. And it made Corpse Explosion free, which I was kind of hoping for. So we're gonna just kind of go hard on this one. I mean, we couldn't turn around anyway. So, this is fine. I mean, we're taking, we're taking, you know, some serious hits, but... Um, oh, I don't have my Tools of the Trade on yet. What a shame. Okay. Not that I can discard yet, either, huh? This is the turn where he hits us like a truck. Uh, I can turn around, still, which is good. I mean, if we can't kill it, I probably should reduce the amount of pain that I take. Definitely should have played this, this regen potion. But, 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 so let's burst and do this. We can Caltraps get something for free. It, it wasn't what I hoped for, but yeah, okay. So we'll, of course, start the heart fight with the regen potion. That will be our longest fight, or, you know, in theory. Do we seriously have a ninja scroll right now? I'm not taking any of those cards. We got a deck that almost kind of, sort of works, so I'm not going to mess with it. You know, you know what? We'll just get these shivs out of here. Um, and see what we can get instead. So let's pop this. We got our fairy in a bottle, which maybe maybe gets us through, if we're lucky. And then let's go ahead and burst blur. This is applying a debuff, right? Yeah, this isn't panache. So we put this on, so we're in an okay position. I play this so something is free. The fact that sneaky strike is free is like actually insane. Let's just keep it going. Okay, a bouncing flask is not bad. And we got this blurred, so you know it doesn't, you know, any anything that we have left over is gonna be fine. I'd love to keep calculated gamble till it gets upgraded by our warped tongs, but who knows if that's actually gonna happen. Um, okay. Hmm. Uh, the order isn't really gonna matter too much here. I don't I don't wanna play my catalyst now. I know, I know, but I just I don't. I don't want to. Okay, we're hitting 50 damage this turn, so I'll throw on a block potion. Um, so we live. <laughs> you know, that's, that's the big one. Okay, so we got a burst backflip. The fact that we're frailed is, like, devastating. I'm gonna leg sweep. So we're not taking any damage this time, which is important. Hmm, that was a bad hand, too. I mean, obviously, we're probably going to die at some point. Oh, God, our thorns, our caltrops. Like, it's, it's, it's really, it's paying dividends, man. Okay, so we got a terrible turn. Like, a turn in which perhaps I play nothing. That's a turn in which I play nothing. I'm not trying to take damage, you know? And, like, there's nothing we needed. Like, we need tools of the trade. But I'll, I'll blur first. Obviously, we die here, you know, which is not amazing. We've got this, so, you know, it'll hit us just the once, and then we'll come back with our full 30% of 70, which, Jesus Christ, is less than 30. I'm not going to feel super confident about this, but, I mean, we're still in the game, so. Uh, I hate that card. Please go away. <laughs> so, we'll burst, and we'll... Was that a regular burst? Shit, it is. So, we're going to have to just leg sweep instead to try to get what we need to survive. This isn't a blur... This is just enough for us to... Well, we'll, still, we'll take two damage. Okay, but that's okay. And we got... You know, the poison is there, right? It's 31 poison. It is ticking away. It is slow, but it is doing it. I mean... I don't know that I can safely apply any more poison. Like, right now. So we'll just, we'll just do this. Our region potion has long since left us. Uh, big, big suffering there. Okay. So, I mean, we probably just die here, which, I mean, I, you know, I'm pleased to have made it this far, but, uh, yeah. Is that one burst? We have another burst going on, right? If I have another burst, but I don't have a leg sweep, then I'm, like, dodge and roll, maybe? Because if it applies twice, we'll still die right here, and I can't, no weakness? No weakness? Anyone? We could calculate a gamble. Let's sneaky strike first. 
Let's calculate a gamble. Well, shit. I'm going to catalyst first, and then I'm hoping for something with some kind of... Yeah, like neutralize. I was looking for neutralize. It's enough for us to live, and we got a blur. So we, we take no damage this turn. He won't die to poison this turn, though, unless we can stack something up pretty, pretty significantly. Uh, we're at 90, and we need to get to 50 more poison. Not without a catalyst, we don't. I mean, there's just, there's no chance. Anyway, we have enough to play our hand, so we should. But I think this is, this is finally it. And come on, Sneko Skull, pull double duty, would you? Whoa, we do it. We freaking do it. Woohoo! Okay, that's awesome. I think this is my first time. Wow, exactly, almost exactly an hour. Uh, I didn't, I didn't think we'd, I didn't think we'd make that. <laughs> um, I've been getting my ass kicked with these ascensions, so I'm pretty pogged. I'm pretty pogged. Okay, the silent makes it out. She kills the heart, uh, it looks like with poison. She kills the heart with poison, which is, you know, it's uh, canonically accurate for what just happened. And then we made it out into the night sky. Hell yeah. Oh, we should get an unlock, right? Come on. We got heartbreaker. We got, you know, overkill. We got money, money. You know, pretty, pretty sick. We defeated two elites without taking damage, which is, you know, exciting for me. Okay, and then concentrate, setup, and grand finale. Okay, so those were previously not around. So we finished the unlocks for the Ironclad and the Silent in just this short one hour and 41 minute stream. And I have to head on out. Um, actually, this is perfect because I kind of needed to leave in four minutes. So excellent timing for me. Now what has it been done? The Spire sleeps and so do I. Oh, and so shall I. How dare I act like Niao is so informal. Anyway, thank you all for tuning in. I had a great time, not least of which because for once we finally got some Ascension wins. But anyway, yeah, thanks for tuning in. I'll see you all around. Bye.